Oh, Sherrod's doing good though, isn't he? Yep. Johnny, Ralph Medici. Hi, Ralph. We got John Albanese behind the camera right there. Oh, well, we've got a lot of... We got a lot of, lot of, lot of countries here today, huh? Uh, we got a few Italians here too. So yeah, well, all right. So uh, tell us what you're doing here today, Johnny. Well, I show up every day just to irritate people, and no, I, I, I come here. I don't do much. I don't have to because they, we got so many good work, good working coaches that you see everybody's out here early getting their extra work, and well, they're a lot much stronger than I am. I'm an old guy, and. But I appreciate that they keep me here, and I enjoy it. Yeah, so tell us what it was like last year when the Red Sox won the World Series. Well, that's like going to heaven, as they say, if there's such a thing. But uh, that was wonderful. We waited a long time for this. And, you know, we've always had good teams around here, but we were never that successful. But this thing, this team put it together, and the way they did it, after being three games down to the Yankees and then win four in a row and then sweep the next eight, why? That's never been done before, and I don't think it'll ever be done because it's when you win in consecutive games like that to to get where we got. Why? That's really that's really a great thing that has happened, and you got to you got to give the credit to the players because they played so well, and, and that's what happens. And the team is good, and they you know they're a good bunch of guys, and they pull for one another, and which which is kind of nice to see, and kind of a throwback to some of the 40s and 50 days that. Uh, these guys don't even know because they weren't even born, but uh, but they're good. They're, you know, they, they kid us a lot. And, now, what uh, were you doing during the World Series? Where were you, Johnny? Well, I went to St. Louis. I was sitting in the stands, and then I, I was with the PR guy, and when, of course, that last game we won, he grabbed me and we went down to the clubhouse, and all hell broke loose, and it was just great. A lot of crying and hugging and kissing and all that sort of thing, and grown men, and but it was wonderful to see. and. And they were really genuinely happy about what had happened. And the good part about this, these guys hung together. You know, these they, they played very well together, and, and it looks like it's carrying over to this year. Yeah, how does this team look to you, Johnny? Well, I think it's a good team. It's every bit as good as last year, I think. It's showing we got a 10-game lead now, and, and I hope it stays that way because we still got a lot of way to go, and we've got two months left, and... A lot of things can happen, especially in August and September, and we'll find out what we're really made of. We're getting right down to the nitty-gritty of playing some of the, the competitive teams. We still got the Yankees to play, and these clubs coming in here. Texas had a good club. Oh yeah. Many Minnesota's got a good club. Chicago and, has a good club tonight. They're in first place. Yeah, yeah. They're uh, they've won more games than anybody, yeah. and it's it's unusual. And they got some good players over there, and you know they're tough to play with. I play against and. They didn't. One thing they didn't do, they didn't even give up last night, even though they were down four or five runs, and they kept pecking away. And of course, then Schilling had to come in and stop the bleeding, and which he did. Even though it was a one-run game, as it turned out. But now, which players do you admire most, Johnny, on this year's club? Well, I got to go for Damon. I think Damon's had a. He's a catalyst of the team, and kid third baseman's played exceptionally well. The shortstop has been very, very good. You know, he's done some things that. That uh, I didn't think he would do, but he has. But he's he, he's got great tools and he's got great great movement on the field, and I, I trust him and I like to see the ball hit to him because he's got good hands, he's got a good arm, and that's what you go by. Now, what about Manny? Did you have a guy like Manny on your team who might have been uh, out of the ordinary, but but definitely was uh, very productive at the plate? Well, you heard of Ted Williams, of course. Oh, yes. Well, I played with him for ten years and. And of course, he was the greatest hitter that ever lived, and, uh, and there's nobody, there's nobody that I've ever seen that's come close to him. But the guy that's been most impressive has been Ortiz. Oh, definitely. Yeah, he's he's done he's done some great things, and Manny has too, you know. And sometimes he he'll you know he does things that you wonder about him, but but he's but you like to see him at that plate. You really would, and you hate to see him on any other team, too. Oh yeah, well he's he's you know he's he's ha I think he's happy here, and he's got Artis here, and he's got some kids from the Dominican. You know they grew up together, and uh, it's a good thing to see. And there's a lot of affection in there, and and they have it for one another, and you can it's it's proven. I think Artis has brought something to this club that we've never had before. 
and he's a great guy and he doesn't get down you know and you expect him to hit the ball nine nine miles when he comes to the plate which he does 75 percent of the time and but he's just a wonderful man he's you know he doesn't get down strike out or whatever and, and he just He's just a great asset to this team. Oh, definitely. And ladies and gentlemen, if, you, if you're just joining us, we're here with Johnny Pesky of the Boston Red Sox. And the Pesky pole is named after Johnny Pesky. Well, and that was a mistake. I don't know how that. Mel Parnell started that. And uh, he was broadcasting. And we were, I was in the minor league. I was managing in the minor leagues and came to the ballpark. And I, Red Sox won a ball game. Somebody hit a home run around the pole. and. After the inning was over, I guess it was the bottom of the eighth or the bottom of the ninth, and, and Mel got on to talk about this home run, and he brought this up. He says that home run reminded me of the ball that, that Johnny won the game for me in 1948. I hit a ball around the pole that won him a ball game late in the ball game, and he brought that up, and he said we used to call it Pesky's Pole, and that's how it got started. And of course Jerry and Joe picked it up, and it's fl very flattering to me. I don't. I, I only had 17 home runs in 13 years, but I was a punch and Judy, but I got—I knew how to get on base and stuff like that, or tried to get on base. And, sure. and we had good teams in those years. Dominic DiMaggio was a great player. Bobby Dora, who are down, and of course, Ted and Bobby are in the Hall of Fame, and Dominic should be. He's a very fine player. And, and we had good teams here, and uh, had, Vern Stevens came here, was a great player, and Houston Ferris, Right after the war, the, the first year after the war, we had a 25-game winner, a 21-game winner. And Ted lost about three years to the war, didn't he? He lost five. He lost five years. Well, he had to go. He he fought in two wars. Wow. He fought in, in WW2, and then he went to Korea when they recalled some of his group. He was, and he had, he he was a war ace, is what he was, and he could. He was one of the smartest, brightest guys I've ever been around, and he wanted to be a Marine, so he. When he did get his commission, you know, they had a chance to, you know, to choose their branch. Either, of course, Marines and the Navy were more or less together. And Ted wanted to be a Marine, and he was a Marine captain. And, and he fought, as I say, in two wars. He was in, well, he crashed an airplane in, in the Korean War. He was lucky to come out of that. I mean, uh, I saw pictures of that. But a wonderful human being. And, we had a lot of fun with him, and of course, he was the greatest hitter of our era, of any era, for that matter. And I think so. He's better than the guys today. Oh, sure. Really? Well, I mean, you're, you're, you're taking. Well, this is a different. They're a different breed of cat. These guys, and, and it's much better for the players today. You know, they have it so much nicer, and better salaries, and so forth, and and uh, they're treated. But these guys handle it pretty well. There's nothing, you know, high hat about them. They're always down to earth and. And that's what you like to see. And oh, definitely. Yeah. Well, now, yeah. I interviewed you uh, uh, last year in the dugout. Yeah. And you were telling me, I said, if the Red Sox won the World Series, what would you do? And you told me that you would celebrate finally and, you know. Run around the park, bare. Bare rest, yeah. and maybe you'd even take a little <laughs> sip of whiskey. Uh, did you get a chance to do that, No, I, I gave that up a long time ago. You didn't I even know. do it for the Red Sox celebrating? No. I, I'm, I was a brandy guy, but I brandy. started to get in there a little bit too much, so I gave it all up. and. And I'm glad I did because uh, it's not good, I guess, when you get a certain age why uh, it doesn't set too well with you. And yeah, but if the Red Sox win the World Series, I thought you might have taken one little, one little. Well, I I might have. I had. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm not going to say. It. But I didn't do it though. I mean, because I was so busy being elated over how we won, and, and it was just a great, great feeling and something that we've we were, we you know, we had good clubs around here before, but we never won. And when you win a World Series, that's the best thing that can happen to a player. Oh, definitely. Were yeah. you here for opening day this past year? Oh, yeah. How was that? Well, that was fine. We got our rings that day. And uh, were you here that day? Yes, uh, he was there. I was not here that day, but yeah. he, he was yeah. here that well, day. It was they, a great time. Yeah, it was. And uh, they all presented the rings. And we had a lot of older guys here. Dom was here. Yaz was here. Yaz and I raised the, the, pe the pennant. World Series pennant in center field that day, and that was quite a thrill. It was great to see Carl again. He was a great player when he was here. Player. Yeah. Now, uh, what about this year? Can you tell us about this year's team? You think they're, they're going to repeat again? Well, I hope so. I mean, they have. You no, know, we got a pretty good lead here, and no one gets hurt, and, and the pitching stands up. The pitching's been a lot, very, very good. I think the pitching is as good as what we had last year. And uh, Clement is a fine pitcher, and I'm kiddo that. that uh, that has been amazing is uh, 
Well, the folk was hurt. Of course, he got hurt, mm -hmm. but uh, but Schilling has been a big addition here. He's oh, definitely. Yeah, he uh, he's a he's a horse. You know, he's like Clemens, and you got to if you're going to make comparisons, you'd say he's more like Clemens than anybody we've had around here because he's a big guy. And he throws a ball 100 miles an hour. He does. So, yeah. Who do you think the best?